hey fam welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you how i incorporate ayurveda in my wash day routine featuring tgin and fro essential so if you want to see more just keep on watching Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Natural Soul Care. I'm so happy to have you guys joining in back with me. So the first thing, well, you guys already know that I had a bloat, right? And so this is one week and a couple days old. So I'll be doing, the first thing I'll be doing is free pooing. And that's something that a lot of time, you know, I don't bother to do. But free pooing your hair is very much important. So I'm going to go ahead, take my hair down and then jump into pre-poo. For pre-poo today, I'll be doing a hot oil treatment. This is a DIY oil that I just put a bunch of different herbs and some of my favorite oil together. With pre-poo, you know, the question is when you're doing a hot oil treatment for pre-poo, the question is do you add water, do you don't add water? You know, some people say, they add the water to open up the hair cuticles so that it can take in the oil but then at the end of the day oil and water don't mix so are you sealing in water so i don't know you guys opinion on that let me know in the comment section about the proper way of pre-pulling all right so i'm just gonna section my hair because you guys know that i work best well i work best with sections so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm just going to show you guys how i do one section and then I'm going to come back and show you when I'm done. Okay, so you guys know that I love to finger detangle, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of detangle my hair a little bit. So today I'm not going to add water. Sometimes I do add the water and I don't really know the right thing. But one of my good sis said that it's best to not add any water because you don't want to be sealing in water. So first, I so I have my teacup right here with hot water so I just put the oil in it for it to be heated up oops it's warm and nice so I'm just going to add starting from the ends making my way up to the roots feels so good on my hair already Okay guys, so I'm just gonna twist my hair up and then once I'm finished then I will come back and show you guys what I'm gonna do next. Okay guys, so I'm back to do the last section on camera. Alright, so I'm gonna split this section in two. Alright guys, so don't judge me on my twist. I hope this is a no judgment zone. <laughs> don't judge me on my twist. I'm surprised that my hair keep up you know that this is a prop as I said to you guys it's a proper blow what I got because my hair is still standing okay I really enjoyed my hair being a little bit straight I should be honest with you guys I really enjoyed it well I also love my kinks so I can wait to return to it but really enjoyed my hair being this straight can you see the shine guys from my oil i know you guys can see so i'm just gonna add a little bit more to the ends you know the ends are the oldest part and you know i need some little extra care just like how the elderly need extra care same thing with our ends shed hair okay then final section yay so if you guys are wondering what is the purpose of pre-poo, I'm going to leave a link up here which speaks about my hair regimen where I explain all of these steps. So you guys can go back and watch that video. These are my jumbo twists. I'm going to do this one over in the back because I got well, it, 
because I got the trim the ends the hair are not really keeping because the ends are a little bit blunt so yeah all right guys I'm going to add this over my head I actually have a hot head let me show you guys all right so I won this hot head in a giveaway I don't remember the name of the place well it was someone else having the giveaway and so she had different vendors adding to the giveaway so i'm going to leave the link down to the hot head i don't know i'm assuming that they still have more i'm not sure i follow their page but <laughs> i'm really not sure if they have more hot heads but they sell hair products so you guys can definitely check them out as well so i'm going to put this in the microwave for i think five minutes heat it up and then put it over my head then let my hair pre pull for 15 minutes then i'm going to go in washing and all of those good stuff so i see you guys soon all right guys so disclaimer so after i said five minutes i was like that's crazy because i don't leave it in the microwave for five minutes but then i said let me you know go on youtube because i've never i didn't get any direction with this and i never looked it up before so youtube let me take it off my head all right, so YouTube said that you put it in for 45 seconds on this side. Then you turn it on the other side for 45 seconds. And then the other side for another 45 seconds. So that's the amount of time we're supposed to put it in the microwave for not five minutes. So my hair is finished. So I'll finish the pre poo process. So I'm just going to go and wash my hair. Well, I didn't buy a TGIN shampoo, so I'm gonna go with my old and faithful head and shoulders. So I'm just gonna wash my hair and then come back and show you guys how I apply the deep condition and my thoughts on it. All right, guys, so we're going to go into deep condition, and this is the TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask. A lot of person have been raving about it on the internet. So it has a raw honey, olive oil. An intense deep penetrating conditioner for dry damage and color treated hair no paraben sulfate petroleum and all of those things that are not healthy for us so it doesn't contain those things so I washed out the shampoo and everything as you can see my hair has reverted back nicely and this is what the deep condition is looking like and it's very much it's very thick very thickety thick and I like thick products on my hair so let's go straight into applying the products to my hair so i love to start from the back section but today i'm gonna start from the front so i'm applying a generous amount because i want this to last long so guys one thing that i should have have is like a spray bottle with warm water to open up my hair cuticles but i'm going to depend on the cap the deep conditioning cap to do that for me right. okay it feels smooth and nice really smooth and nice it smells good as well seems like it's popping my curls as well so a good goal okay I like it so far so I'm gonna continue to do the rest of my head and then I'll tell you guys my final thoughts on this deep conditioner guys right, look at how healthy my ends are looking trim those ends all right guys so i went ahead and get some warm water because my hair is starting to dry out so guys if you haven't checked out my regiment video before 
you guys definitely need to check that out so you can see the difference that I'm doing for the growth challenge. Alright guys, I'm going to finish the rest of my head off camera, so see you soon. Okay guys, so I am finished. And so I have the deep condition all over my hair. And so I'm going to add my plastic cap. I'm going to add one more for security. And I'm going to heat this up the correct way and then add it on my head and I'm going to leave it on for let's see the next 20 to 30 minutes I normally just leave it on as long as you know as possible but for today's wash day I'm a little bit in a hurry so I'm not going to let it stay on my head for too long and then I'm gonna come back do a slip test for you guys and then give you my final thoughts on the hot head so I'll catch you guys back soon all right guys so it has been three hours later can you believe it my ring light is not working so I hope this is not too dark but as you can see my hair has sucked up most of the product and that's what we want to see less of the product showing Knowing that you hear I sucked up most of it. So I'm going to do a sleep test for you guys. As promised. Just to see if it has good sleep. Starting from the bottom. Yes, it does. I don't have a hard time detangling. Awesome. Alright, so you guys can definitely get your tango teaser from SM Cheeks Accessories. I will leave the link in the description below. As you can see, not much hair is in the tango teaser. So definitely get your tango teaser from SM Cheeks Accessories. Alright guys, so I'm going to rinse this all out and then I'll come back with the styling process. Alright guys, so I've rinsed out my hair and I'm now ready for styling. Alright, so for this week, um, so in order to include verdict into my hair this week because remember we're ruling the growth challenges for us to include a growth product right in our hair regimen so I'm going to use Ayurvedic scalp and hair tea let me show you guys right so I got it from Fro Central you can see the signature on the top can see the name on the top so I got it from them and I didn't even bother to make a video of how to make it because basically all of us as Jamaicans will love to drink tea so you just take out one of the tea bag it actually like like an actual tea bag and guys it smells so good like feel like I would drink it I think you can drink it but you're probably going to go to the, the toilet it's probably going to give you a good cleanse so just to let you guys know the ingredients it has nettle parsley hibiscus rosemary calendula i'm sure i'm pronouncing that wrong but i had all of these things in my video neem lemongrass peppermint bordock root lavender all and they are all organic ingredients so if you guys haven't checked that video up and out i'm going to link it in the description where i spoke about Ayurvedic herbs. I spoke about some that are found here in Jamaica, like for example, hibiscus. We have a hibiscus tree here, and we have rosemary here, right? We have neem here, we have lemongrass, fever grass. It's the same thing as fever grass. So I've mentioned all of these lovely ingredients before, and I've mentioned their benefits. So if you guys haven't checked out that video as yet, you guys can definitely go and check that video out. So the direction is to brew one tea bag in a cup which is an eight ounce cup of hot water and i already did that so allow the tea to steep for at least 10 minutes for a stronger brew leave a few additional minutes so i wanted a stronger brew so i did it from early this morning so cool then add to a spray bottle which i did and it said to spritz your scalp and hair 
so follow up with a leave-in or hair butter and style as desire right so this will be actually my leave-in today i'm going to follow up with the tgi and leave-in but this is going to be my cream so this is going to be my l c and then i'm going to follow up with my diy oil that's going to be my o for today and it said can be used as a hair rinse after shampooing it's if used as a rinse follow up with a deep conditioner i wanted to do that today but instead i'm just going to use it as a leave-in because i wanted to see how the tgin deep conditioning mask work on its own and yes guys it did a pretty good job my hair felt moisturizing when i rinsed it out a while ago and i feel like it did a good job right so i'm going to go into styling it's getting a bit late already and i want my hair to dry the next day so i can you know upload this video as soon as possible so this contained 10 tea bags and i think i paid 1200 dollars for it or i don't remember i will leave the information below but sometimes they do have sale and so if you catch the sale then you're saving some coins I will leave the price below and definitely their link below all right so i'm going to go straight into styling now so basically my gear is still in the same twist all right just to give you guys some information on the leave-in i started using it already so it's a green tea super moist leave-in conditioner with green tea and organ oil it's a lightweight moisturizing leave-in conditioner for all hair types right and so let's look at the ingredients a little bit so you have water um let me see aloe vera juice yes cocoa butter shea butter um all of those wonderful things castor oil argan oil sunflower oil have some honey in it and all of those wonderful ingredients as well so i, I like this leave-in i've used it before i'm going to tell you guys my impression again so basically i'm going to put my hair in twists the ultimate goal is to do a protective style which i'm going to do after my twist out so i'm going to basically try to achieve a twist out tomorrow and then after that then i'm going to go and put my hair in a protective style for the growth challenge i'm really serious about catching up back with the challenge because as you all know i had to cut my hair so i'm a little bit behind all right so first i have some section right here i love to start from the back section as you guys can see i'm gonna spray my hair tea rinse so i warm it up a little bit because as i said before i had it from in the morning i brew it from in the morning so I heat it up a little bit just to apply it to my hair so it can open up my hair cuticle. Unfortunately, I don't have warm water at home, but if you have warm water, whenever you're washing your hair, ensure to wash it with warm water. And so that when you put in your deep conditioner, your cuticles are already open. But whenever you're going to rinse out the deep conditioner, you're going to rinse with cold water so that the cuticles are closed and it gives your hair sheen. But I already rinse with cold water and then you're going to add some warm water again to open up back the hair cuticle so that when you add the leave-in it can take in the moisture right so I just added my hair tea rinse guys I love the smell and as you can see I'm already getting some slip from it and I'm going to add my leave-in just a little bit it's lightweight as it said and then now I'm going to go in with my DIY oil So I'm not the best at twisting, but I'm doing what I can do. And I'm just going to repeat this process all over my head. Hopefully guys, I really hope it dries tomorrow.
Alright guys, so I'm gonna finish all of this, but I will just see you guys tomorrow when my hair is dry and ready or the next day after because my hair takes a long while to dry, but this is what I have here. All looking juicy and moisturized. Yay! And earlier I sprayed the hair tea on my scalp because we're supposed to spray it on our scalp. We want the best benefits. So far I don't have much shedding. I know I'm going to get more when I finish my hair, but that's awesome i don't have much shedding at all so far hey guys so it's the next day and my hair feels dry which is kind of shocking it's not usually dry the next day but i figure it's probably dry for already because i use a lightweight i'm leaving and i didn't go in with any cream so let's take it down oh yeah so i did up my so i did my edges off camera and I kind of pin up my hair a little bit to kind of stretch it because shrinkage is real so I kind of stretch so hopefully I get a little stretch out of it guys so as you can see I got definition all right so one thing I've been noticing is that um, the left side of my hair always it's always more defined than the right side I don't know why I don't know if it's a different texture or because I always do the right side first so maybe you know probably I rush through the right side and then when I'm at the left then you know I'm a little bit more gentle I don't know but this side is always done better than this side as you guys can see when I was separating my hair the process was very easy mainly because my I got a trim the ends weren't what sort you know touching each other or you know having knots and stuff forth like that so that's one of the benefits of getting trims all right, so I'm going to go through the separation process. This side now seems like it dries so properly, you know, but I'm still going to go through the separation process. Most of the natural hair gurus would say to separate where the hair naturally wants to separate. To be honest, we just separate. All right, so I just try to go in the opposite direction of how I twisted it, and then I just try to pull the hair apart, right? And it's like that. So I'm going to just repeat this process and you want to be as gentle as possible even most time I'm not gentle <laughs> but yeah you want to try to be as gentle as possible yes. when I get frizz sometimes especially the fact that maybe my hair didn't dry properly but frizz is okay something that we can't um, get rid of and you know if you want a stronger hole in your hairstyle then definitely go with a curling cream or with a what should i say a gel or custard something more thicker but i'm definitely loving my hair it's it's it feels so soft guys i wish you guys could feel it if i feel like the combination was bomb so if you want more of a frizz free defined hair then definitely go in with gel or curling custard so i'm just gonna finish separating and then come back to you guys and let you guys see what i have I'm separating and then as you can see you're seeing like a little bit more definition on this side compared to this side guys i don't know why and then the front are always more defined 
if you guys can see it on my phone it's not showing so good but I'm sure you guys can see it. so I know it's looking very shrink like a mess but we're gonna fluff it out I think I want to make a high puff so because I don't have anywhere going all right so let's see how much fluffing we can get out of this okay guys most important thing is that my hair is feeling moisturized and i think the hair tea rinse did a great job with helping and then definitely the tgin leave-in so from the deep conditioning process to every part that's why it's so important for us not to skip deep conditioning I prefer doing twist on already dry hair so not like straight after wash day but like maybe our day or two after wash day so definitely this worked the deep conditioner worked these two gave me moisture plus this as well all these three did a great job oh not to forget my diy oil it helps a lot with the sheen and everything so remember i gave you guys a tons of information so you have ingredients that you can find in your backyard you have a lot of different options right so go watch this video catch up leaving a lot of links up here so you guys definitely check it out thank you again so much for watching and i will see you in my next video hey guys all right so it's four days later and my hair is in a high puff as you can see i'm having some definition from the twist out so i love to put my hair in high puffs and my hair is still feeling soft and moisturized oily my hands are a little bit oily but not because your hair is oily doesn't mean it's moisturized right but my hair is still feeling moisturized and it's four days this doesn't really happen enough um within four days but one thing i should say that i was consistent with to ensure that i had my bonnet on so even if i was relaxing in the sofa my bonnet was still on my hair so guys ensure you are wearing your bonnet so that your hair doesn't lose its moisture all right so that's it for today's video for the next video i also want to do another wash day but this time i may not show the wash day process i will just show you guys whatever growth agent i am using and how i make it and how i apply it in my hair so look out for that video but guys thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for watching definitely give me a thumbs up let me know in the comment section what growth agent you're currently using share with your friends and family so that they can come over and join the fam see you in my next video bye mm -hmm.